Well, this is where we are, guys. I'm up Tankersley, and I'm at Tankersley Church. So, I'm coming to the cemetery because I've just seen, in these trees here, I've just seen a big tawny owl flying to these trees. Uh, I know where Tony House come from, she's come down from in that wood near golf course. Um, so I'm going to have a little walk round in the cemetery. I know it's dark and you can't really see. Uh, looks like we've got a nice moon up there. So I'm going to do a little short video. Uh, like I said, that's the church. That's why I like churches. She always got good wildlife in church, in churchyards. Like I said, I've just seen that tawny owl fly across. She's down in these trees here. I'm not going to walk down because it's too dark and you won't see it, but I'm going to walk here. So she'll be hunting now. So, and she was big and all. Oh, she's there. No, you'll not see her. You'll not see her. She was there in them trees up on them branches so she's just flown off uh, a big tawny owl so there's a lot of wood pigeons around and all so that's a little walk round the church guys so like I said I ain't got best phone but uh, there's a lot of wildlife around now look at that how nice is that moon this camera doesn't normally catch the moon so um, I'm going to have a walk down Black Lane. I think later on tonight she'll be calling that Tony Owl. Tony Owls will be calling. Because after this month, well, February, March, March, they'll be getting ready to nest. So, how lovely is that? A big Tony Owl flying across. And she's just come out, she'll have just come out. Because uh, they come out in dust dust twilight so as soon as it gets dark darkish they're out uh, but that's what triggers that's what triggers wildlife that's what triggers the ecosystem guys i'll show you back of me nice look at that lovely sky so that's what triggers the ecosystem uh, like a plant um you know they die back in the winter because of the light hours when we get 18 hours of light. Uh, I'll talk about that in another, another video. Um, you know, when we get to winter, we've got short light hours. Uh, so things die back, it hibernates. We get the cold weather, nature. It's nature. How good's that? Nature's very cruel. So we're here at Tankersley, I can smell a cig. So I can smell somebody smoking, so somebody's around. So let me just have a look who's knocking around. Uh, I know there's a van there, so it might be a dog walker. Right, right, so that's... I forgot what I were on about now, ecosystem. So that's the ecosystem, guys. Um, nature's very cruel. Uh, but, I, I mean, how good is nature? It repairs everything. And you know the coronavirus? It's killing a lot of people. Well, what? I don't know. I don't know what this coronavirus is, and I don't really, really chat about the coronavirus. But uh, it's nature. Nature's. I mean, nature. When once the birds start to die, which they are doing, stuff's dying off. You don't see stuff anymore. You don't see large groups of starlings, the sparrows are disappearing, all the slug poisons killed all the egg, it's killing the egg jogs, um, it's killed all the thrushes, song thrushes, yep, still got a few measle thrushes around, but you only have to open your eyes and see what's going off. Looks like somebody's going in in his car. So the, the ecosystem guys, Nature, it's, it's cruel, but it repairs everything. Uh, it doesn't care, it balances everything. I mean, I was chatting to a, a lady uh, last year. I do do a garden, I cut a lawn. Uh, I think I charge her a fiver, five, ten quid. 
I cut a lawn every two weeks. Um, and sure enough, I said, oh, there's a sparrow oak. And I saw this sparrow oak fly through the gardens. Uh, I love to see sparrow oaks. And I watch them kill a blackbird and they'll pluck blackbird on the lawn and they'll eat it. Or a wood pigeon. And, uh, oh, she said, I don't like sparrow oaks. They kill oak, oak birds. Um, I said, well, not... Well, not really. It's, it's ecosystem. It balances everything. Sparrow oaks are here for a reason. Yeah, we know they kill weak and injured birds. They also kill a lot of strong birds. But it balances. Everything balances because of the ecosystem, guys. Um, anyway... So everything balances, nature balances, it's cruel, nature's very, very cruel. I mean, some of the things I've seen, uh, I understand nature, and I'll tell, you, I'll tell you why I understand it. And a lot of people don't understand it, uh, the cruelty. When I was a kid, I'm talking a little kid, I used to walk down into the woods, down into the fields, and I used to find dead birds when I was walking around. So, guys, I understand. I mean, I'd find an owl, a, a dead owl. I think, wow. I, I mean, I didn't know it were an owl. I, when I first found an owl, I was only a little kid. Uh, nobody knew how much about owls. And I thought, wow, what a beautiful, what a beautiful bird. Uh, but I understood nature, guys. I understood, uh, you know, it's died in the woods, uh, it's going to decay in the woods, it's going to rot away. So, I understand nature. A lot of people that don't understand the cruelty of nature. Um, I mean, it stems back from a lot of things, really. But, how beautiful is it tonight? It's supposed to be going to snow, uh, it's going to snow. Anyway, that light at the back of us there, guys. Can you see that light? That's High Green Sheffield. Now, when I'm out on a dark night, I can see over into Sheffield because it's lit up. Uh, light pollution. So it's all lit up. Um, but that's nature, the ecosystem. A lot of people don't understand it. I mean... Foxes. I find a few dead foxes around, and a lot of people. I mean, I love to see foxes. I know what fox. I know the nature of a fox. I've watched them loads of times. I've watched little. I've watched the little baby foxes, cubs. I've watched them. I've sat. I've been out at night. Uh, I've been coming home three, four o'clock in the morning, and I've walked and I've found baby foxes. I found a dead rooster on the... You know, I've been walking down a country lane, found a dead rooster with its head bit off, and then I've seen the fox go through the edge, and then I've picked the rooster up, thrown it over the edge, so the fox gets it anyway. It's like there's a car coming up. So, and then I've, I've gone through bushes, through edges, nice and quiet, and I've seen our little fox cubs playing. Right, I've just got to find some of you safe. This idiot's got his uh, eye beam up. So if he don't uh, turn his eye beam down, I'm not getting off road. Right, he's turned it down. So I can see to get in. He's turned it down, so... Thank you very much. I'm glad he's turned his eye beam down. <laughs> Yeah, so I've seen little fox cubs playing away uh, and I've made a little sound and they've all shot in the little den. Um, so, foxes. I don't understand why you hate foxes. If you keep chickens, I mean, if I kept chickens, I'd make sure foxes couldn't kill them because I'd, I'd put wire around and I'd make sure the foxes wouldn't kill them. But I'll tell you where the foxes are in Ireland. So if you want to see foxes in Ireland, and I'll tell you the best time to see them, round about one o'clock in the morning, 
if you drive up Low Hill, right, Low Hill, St Peter's Church, so go past the police station, go up the hill towards St Peter's Church, park your car on there, you'll see foxes. Also in the cemetery in Ireland, near Kirkbox School, you'll see foxes. Uh, and I, like I said, and I also know where there's wild deer around here. And she had a fawn this year. I'm not going to tell you where deer are. So, like I said, she had a fawn this year, guys. And I ain't got a good camera to catch footage. And you've got to be very quiet and know what you're doing to sneak up on a deer. So, I know where deer are, but I can't tell you where they are because the wild deer... They're not what somebody's had and let loose, and they're breeding here. So, like I said, I can't tell you where they are. I bet you wouldn't believe me if I told you there were kangaroos up on moors. Uh, but there is. Anyway, guys, like I said, look at that. Lovely moon. We're knocking on in January. But the ecosystem, uh, yeah. Nature's very cruel, and a lot of people don't understand it. Uh, I think what it is, guys, um, not everyone's fairly strong. Oh, I know a lot of people think they're big and tough and hard, but they're not. I'm talking strong. You know, some people are, are strong that way. You know, I mean, like, say, you've got a doctor, a nurse... I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't really operate on someone. I think that takes a special person. So, yeah, the ecosystem balances everything, guys. I mean, a lot of people, they don't like nature, they don't like birds, they like to destroy it. So many negative people around. Then we've got a lot of people, they love nature, they love animals. So... Like I said, we're here down Black Lane. Look at that sky. That's Sheffield, guys, at the back. High Green Sheffield. So, am I scared of walking through the woods at night when it's late? No, I've done it all my life. Do I know if anybody's in that wood? Yes. So if I walk into a wood at night... I used to be a poacher, guys, but... If I walk into a wood at night, I know if there's anyone in that wood. I can tell you straight away, if there's anyone in that wood, have I got fear of walking into that wood? No. There's not much I really fear, to be honest. And I think uh, that's psychological with a lot of people, guys. You know the fear of the coronavirus? Because I'm hearing a lot about the coronavirus lately. Uh, people around me chatting about it and it's got to where it's got silly and stupid and everyone's, a lot of people are, you know they're bullying it up and it's this and it's that but all I can say think positive guys, don't fear and I hope everyone's doing well take care, God bless, I'll give you another shot of that moon how lovely is that? Thumbs up, like the videos, please. Uh, think in a positive way, guys. I'm hoping to get out tomorrow. I, I mean, I've, I've missed a beautiful day today. It's been really sunny. And what have I done? I've stopped in the house, so I can't make any videos. Um, so take care, God bless. I hope everyone's fine and doing well. Because I need to get away this year, guys. I need to be away. I need to be... Uh, I need to go and see my girlfriend. I want to move away, guys. I want to move abroad. So, I've got a bit of a problem. And the problem's going to get resolved at the end of January. So, it's either going to turn out good. There's another car coming... It's either going to turn out good for me. Is he a look? Oh, he's a, might be a push bike. Right, it looks like a push bike. So it's either going to turn out good for me, guys, 
or it's not going to turn out so good. But I hope it's going to turn out good, but till the 29th, I don't know how it's going to turn out. How would it? So I don't know how it's going to turn out, but on the 29th, uh, that's going to be it really, guys. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. Looks like two guys camouflaged up Alsatian. I'm guessing it's Gamies. Gamies with guns, uh, going Alsatian. Uh, he's got his flashlight on. <laughs> that, that's a good gamekeeper. That's a good gamekeeper with guns. Two on them with guns and an Alsatian. I can't see where I'm going here. <laughs> that's a good gamekeeper. Uh, anyway. It could be a good gamekeeper, I don't know. Take care, God bless, guys. I'm under the motorway tunnel.